Hey there, I'm gonna try to do a video here as I, um, on my way to work. Uh, I was just listening to R.C. Sproul's book, Reformed Theology. It's okay. Um, really, I don't give much commentary on it. Uh, but anyways, he brings up an interesting point. Well, something that leads to an interesting point, And that is, how does... We, we have this issue in scripture. Romans 3 says, no one seeks God. No, not one. And then in the King James, Mark 1, 37 says... All men seek for thee. Now I take that just for what it says. All men seek for the Lord. That's I, that's a position I've held. That deep in their souls, um, all men are seeking the Lord and are hungry for Him. Even the grumpy atheist um, is whether he or she admits it or not, or realizes it or not. So, anyways, uh, so do we have a problem here in Scripture? Where it says in one place all men seek God, and then another place none do, and I don't think there's a contradiction in Scripture, of course, and the explanation is uh, given to us a solution by Philippians one verse six, and that is any and and also John twelve thirty two. Let's take those two verses, unless we need more also, but um to the jail here but uh, the uh, scriptures okay so sorry it's distracted um, Philippians 1 6 says any good work in us of course the Lord does he, he originates it till the end of time pretty clear and also John 12 32 it's a verse I've been using a lot in jail ministry lately uh, if I be raised up then I will draw all men to myself. I mean, wow, that's an amazing verse. Universal salvation. Uh, so what we have here is God's doing all the work. So we're created with total depravity. And no one is good but God alone, Mark 10, 18. So we cannot seek God. But those verses I just listed show that all will be worked in by the Lord in order to be saved and obtain salvation either now or at the end of the world or whenever it happens and on uh, so it's just it's quite simple I mean the only way salvation is going to happen anyways is by the Lord working in us so uh, so of course no man seeks God and of course uh, none are good but of course, on the other hand, uh, all men seek for him because, so in other words, we can't of our own nature seek God because we are corrupted. First Corinthians fifteen forty two, um, and uh, but then again, everyone seeks God because God works in the person who can't seek Him, works towards justification wherever someone is on that stage and where, where God approaches a person as if they're righteous to make them like him, make them righteous and he will by interacting with them will work in them to bring them salvation and therefore they'll be seeking seek the Lord with all your heart so the seeking of the Lord that we have is first originated by God of course so anyway I think you get the point so there's no contradiction there it's just uh, more of the elegant, perfect, systematic logic of Scripture, of God's Word that He wrote that people did not write. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you.